Hello, everyone, and welcome to another and the final for this season uh, race of, of Wacky Races. And today we have uh, the, the World Championship of Darts. And just because of that, I want I put the, the, the kit Archer kit on. That way, uh, our racers will get to chuck arrows, which is my favorite thing about this the this wacky yeah, I'm I'm joining the booth by death like uh, how are you death like I'm good I mean I'm I'm here for uh, I'm here with sharp objects and I would like to toss them to everyone because everyone can everyone can have an arrow yeah that, yeah that's the thing uh, I'm I'm excited because I you know get to talk about get to do many of the wacky races and a lot and uh, um. Tossing everything is a lot of fun. All, all you have to remember is uh, the attack power of a weapon and having levels. And, if, and after that, uh, everything goes smoothly. Which is very nice because it also makes um, it makes uh, well, well, it's kind of a non-issue for the most part, even if, if she will be otherwise be a big problem. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're. I mean, the the value of of certain thing of certain weapons. Uh, you 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 pay attention a lot bit more to more, and uh, it's a it's a something you um, not always pay attention to, especially with, with a bow and arrow. I mean, when you think of bow and arrow, you think, uh, "Hey, Medusa arrow might be useful. You can um, flick stone on things." Uh, no, it's not quite not quite as simple. No. Oh wow! I I caught claw, and and samurai samurai. Wow, that was very nice. I, we could actually throw. Um, and since everything can be thrown, like everything and anything, uh, the cat claw. Unfortunately, uh, if if you do any math with something with a zero, you you. I'm sure you know what the answer is, so uh, you're probably not going to toss one of those. No, it, it it just nice because like like I had to do a double take and I was like, is is the grab back kit on? <laughs> but no, that was just like the the key item reward, uh, and it was uh, and you know and we have a junk uh, a junk start, so you know, that's that's nice to have I guess. Well, the seed has to have a joke. That that is the first joke of the seed. You you, you want to yes. be given the most powerful weapon you can throw. You know the thing that does nothing for you. That that's exactly <laughs> how you should start a seed. That's what we like to see in this club. We like to see the nonsense. We like to see the funnies. So I th if I'm uh, I'm trying to remember, but I think we replace. I think the main thing is you replace fight with throw and yes. uh, so uh it almost it rarely matters what your attack power is unless you have berserk so that means uh you know bacchus wine or a white mage so yeah finding out that throwing a hat claw didn't doing nothing is uh exactly what you expected uh, it, there is some now while there is uh, the attack power of zero um there is some actual randomization uh for the like for the for a little randomization damage, which is not usually noticeable, but I mean, if you have a pile of cat claws and want to see how that range goes, uh, yeah, that's I think the range is like only up to a little under a hundred, like zero to ninety nine, and, and that yeah. So if you like, if you like uh, l less than three digit numbers, uh, you can throw cat claws all day and have fun. <laughs> but we're not gonna throw any claws with that stack of twenty samurai arrows, which um the hands of an edge, like fresh, fresh out of the gate edge. Uh, it did like close to two thousand damage. It, it seems like, so that's pretty good. Which we we're just gonna lead a, a a fire on a under our racers to be like, oh wow, we both have huge early game power. What do we do? But with only twenty, with only twenty shots. So I'm, I mean, at, almost every early boss is gonna die to one of those, so it's gonna be fine. But like, how how do you leverage the power? Do you do it less? It's gonna need. I mean, you just want your highest level characters to throw. Is that that's as simple as that? But uh, I think what you really want to do is be kind of uh, understand uh, like how much stuff, how much you have to throw with. Like, I mean, arrows are the ch cheapest way 
because uh, I mean, they're I mean, you buy them in bulk. You you the and the the only real caveat is making sure that uh um that you're not like spending uh you know tons of money for something like Medusa arrows and getting a poor return on investment for your throwing needs. Yeah, Medusa arrows are are the big sticking point because they they are like higher. Uh, tier because of their utility, you know, the they can they can instantly defeat uh, uh, monsters. Uh, but you know, their attack power is absolutely low. Are are they lower? Are, are they lower than iron arrows? Uh, iron, I think it's like ten. I think wow. it was a five. It's like it's like really low number. Like Medusa's one. So you 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 you, <laughs> you can you can do some quick math, and I'm sure you, looks like five is greater than one. Uh, uh, just put it that way. You're not. We just picked up another ice claw, so uh, that's not going to be thrown anytime soon, unless uh, by accident. Uh, but still, uh, I, but throwing doesn't re. If you think about throw, throwing doesn't care about uh, the properties of the item outside the attack bar. Like you're not applying any statuses, you're not applying any elementals, and oh, that's a surprise. Wow, early early, early magma. With with the samurai arrows, did you do early underground? Like like like, you have Edge doing like a thirteen hundred, it for each samurai arrow. That that's enough for some of the weaker bosses. I'm trying to remember the attack power of samurai. It's like I think something like sixty or something. It's a it's one of the it's yeah. it's one of those numbers. Uh, it's not it's, a, it's better than a shuriken, but worse than a ninja star. So it's a. So in tween is pretty good, especially start the start. Um, the bow actually. I'm trying to think of the bow is actually better because when you ever when you've ever used a bow and you wonder why is it not doing as much damage as the numbers say they do. I mean, it's when you equip a bow. Uh, the ma the algorithms for that it always takes the half the attack power, but when you throw oh. it doesn't care. The throwing doesn't care, but when you throw when you have. But the bows, it's always half the attack power. So if you have a short bow, I think it's like a ten attack power. But you're really having five. It's it's. Wow. It's, yeah, that's it, you you. So you never take the bow attack power seriously. You care about the multipliers, and <laughs> yeah, I, I had to <laughs> laugh out of that. <laughs> Warlink, Warlink, you saw Goldberg show up. I was like, bruh, what what do I do now? Where's my last save? I'm gonna do this. Okay, fine. Like, like he had to think about it, <laughs> which you know, fair enough. Oh wow, Tibal did what I said. He's 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 taking a nose dive down into in, into the underground to find perhaps better items, better uh, dartables. I mean, the popular dartable, like especially in a low tier, uh, would be, uh, drain spears are a favorite because uh, high attack power, low accuracy. But since again, no ac, we don't care about accuracy, so. Raw attack power matters, and having having high attack power uh, is a re is a really good a uh, <laughs> really good way of using it, and is priced accordingly for that reason alone. Yeah, and 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 with this wacky, you like sometimes like sure you might want to use uh, drain spears and ninja stars for your return on investment, but but you can uh, dart anything here. So again, arrows are the best uh, in terms of, of like being e like economic. But, but you can't just chuck other things that shouldn't be able to be chugged. And that, like, changes the, you know, the way yeah. you can approach a shop oh, yeah. in general. Yeah, but yeah, but I think the more the fun of it is to see what, what can actually, what which, what kind of animations you get. And although I think by default, a lot of it's a spinny thing. It's just like, it, yeah. I think, and it, I, you see it for pretty much all of it. So those, I think swords are just a straight, like a straight, Shot to the heart instead, kind of thing. <laughs> landscape constructor. Okay. It constructs <laughs> landscapes. That's that that's very nice. How what are, whoa, back attack wyvern. Ray. But that's pretty <laughs> that, mild, that's tame. That is tame. That is the tamest thing uh Wyvern ever does. Uh I was I'm happy to see Wyvern at this spot, but also disappointed it wasn't a much more uh, explosive kind of attack. But uh uh if you uh watch that gold best fight, it was a um so clever usage Warlink did was to hi hide Edward. Uh the Golbest script strictly tries to 
kill everyone leaving two alive uh, and Edward hiding allows uh, you know basically he's not an, he's not in the fight he's like kind of kind of is dead so there's just there's two live two living and so allowing um you know a very safe relatively safe fight like having having an extra camera although he get fired so eh, whatever yeah now let's see what what Warling finds here well, that's very nice, but not for this party yet, at the very least. It's good for later. It's a, and then it worse wor comes to worst, it's just more f just uh, ammo buying. That's 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 ammo buying yeah. equipment. It's that's what's good for. I mean, the thing is, is that good weapons are still good to keep because uh, while you you can't use the fight command uh, if you berserk someone, they will bonk things. Like normally, so it's 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 still valuable to keep good weapons around instead of just uh, chucking them at, at at things. But you know, we will still need uh, we will first need a source of, of of berserk, either a white mage or a stack of Bacchuses, before that even mattered. Uh, I think I saw a rune X being picked up by Tybalt. I mean, looting everything. Uh, you, you you know. The only version of this game that actually allows throwing the rune axe is the easy type. Now, so, so, some may think this is like the easy type version. No, there was a specific Japanese made easy type version. Completely. Uh, it's like, it's still still Final Fantasy 4, but it's a it's a different <laughs> different take on, the, on like essentially FF2's easiness, but it actually makes some of the fights a little bit different, at least for the LST. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a it's it's not d dramatically different different but enough to like oh that's kind of cool i didn't see that and, and then but then you then you have access to really overpowered ribbons <laughs> like they can they have like they can absorb elementals like all three elementals yeah. they're it's it's something you might want to play if you're if uh, if, if you're if you're look, looking for something different but still ff4 it, I, I believe that the, the, the leading theory is that while uh, FFR, uh, Final Fantasy II US shares a lot of similarities with Easy Type, it's I, I think that they've like developed like at the same time and they like shared some like design decisions because you you will think the, the the US version was modeled after Easy Type with some of the changes in script and stuff like that, but no, it 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 it, it didn't. So it's 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 very neat. I I will definitely, if, especially if, if you're used to to free enterprise, there there's some stuff there like like uh, the lightning sword, and like heroing having the stats change. It's it's it is a lot of fun. That big big plus one for me. Uh, I mean, they made the blue dragon easier. You know, Bimmy and Jimmy are not the same. You you, don't, you almost well at least Bimmy looks unrecogn a little unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. So like like uh, sometimes if you've seen blue used in uh, Final Fantasy IV, you see lightning like you see the lightning bolt, like the lightning bolt item. Uh, but uh, no, that they, they 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 instead of being cold dragons, you know, um, like giving you chills. No, no, it's they're, they're here to shock you. Is that so? <laughs> this is, yeah. So like if you thought if, if you thought that was a tricker, it's cut. It's not a tricker. It's it's a little different. You are shock. Uh, Whirling finding a bunch of arrows and swords, like he said, nah. But you know, those those uh, samurai arrows are, are gonna run out uh, real soon. Yeah, I mean, like when you think of arrows, you tr you're trying to use like the arrow glitch when you you with probably with berserk or <laughs> and it's a lot it's a lot of fun to do. But throw uh, doesn't suffer from that. It immediately. Yep. In fact, one of the worst kind of the kind of the worst thing that happens is if you throw something and you don't even get to throw, it still disappears from your inventory. It's oh, that, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's the same with with items, right? If you use an item and it doesn't come out for whatever reason, it still consumes it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, there are risks to throwing things that you don't actually throw. So, uh, yeah, you put so uh, unless you're unless it's like a what a, like the last what a dart. Sentence. What a yeah. sentence. There is danger to throwing things that you don't actually throw. And it's very funny because it's true. 
but I threw it. No, but I didn't throw it. But you did throw it. But I didn't. But you did. <laughs> as far as the game is concerned, you did throw it. Yeah. I, 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 it's it. So it's one of those things where you got to be uh, at least be thought a little bit mindful about using uh, throwing items. I mean, I lot throwing when just regular when you just toss a regular when you use a certain item, you're you're like you're kind of like. Okay, you wasted a cure two, maybe a life potion. It happens, but a dart. Uh, they are at some point. You, if you run, if you're running out, <laughs> uh, I'd be concerned. So you pr probably best do some item shopping. Buy even a whole uh, as many stacks of arrows as you possibly can, or at least something reasonably cheap. And you probably will get. <laughs> speaking of things that you probably don't nice. want to throw, or maybe throw at the very end. Yeah, uh, in this black set, the Spoon Flag is on, so if you get a source of Berserk, that Edward is going to be well served in equipping the Spoon instead of throwing it. But you never know. Maybe that Edward's going to get the boot. We, we still have only found, like, three characters, after all. I th I th I, you know, you can, I think, in the throw, in the, when you, in the dart menu, you can actually take off, I believe you can take off your equipment and then throw it. So, just in case... If you were, if you, if you didn't want a menu to item, you could probably just menu to dart and still throw the item from, throw the weapon from oh, there. It's kind of nice. It's nice. Char arrows, those are very nice to find. Th th those are like really, like, ris like reasonably strong. Yeah, the charm arrows are, are my favorite. Uh, mostly arrows to buy because they're cheap, reasonable, and they're actually, I mean, early game. If pretty I mean, strong, if you, they're, they're pretty strong. Yeah. You, if you do, especially do the Eblin checks, like the Hassle Eblin treasure checks, I mean, you have two different monsters to use it on the Mad Ogres wow. and the Stalemen. So they're like, so their dual usage, very powerful early on, very, at least very accessible, unless they don't show up. Well, yeah, in that case, they're not, they're not accessible at all. Well, uh, people deciding to say, heck, I have three characters, I want some more, and finding the king. To be fair, everyone everyone can throw. It's like it's every if everyone's a thief, uh, who, do you need a ninja to steal steal stuff? I don't know. It... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't have uh, uh, a boss a boss search anymore. Sadly, otherwise this this will be like a like an S double whammy check, but it's fine. We can take a cane. He's even red. That's stylish. Still not banana king, which is my favorite, but red, oh, red, I, red is fine too. I, I, you know, I enjoy some of the palettes. Like, did you, some like I mean, there's like Mega Man Sid. Uh, I think, I think there's some. I think the like pink radia. Uh, it's yes, there. There. So, yes. Yeah. There. I mean, I, I, I can't like. I'm. I just like what I see sometimes. So it's like if you if if the, if. If, if there's a coloring book, I'm terrible at picking colors, but if I see someone uh, choosing great colors, I mean, it worth, it's always always worth putting out, because, you know, it's like, it's like you know, I can't do art, but I know what I like. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's like with, with food, you know? Like, you may not be a great chef. I know I certainly am not, but I know what I like. <laughs> and I am what foods I enjoy and which foods I don't. That's just, like, normal, I think. Um, what's even in the barring gang? Oh, it's a radia. Oh, I mean, we take a mage. I, I mean, this... I mean, we could probably go through the seed without one, but if you... Yeah. I, I feel like you need one emergency, especially the one that... 60... Two-thirds of the time, uh, she'll, uh, she'll heal 100% of the time. It's, it's also that dart is nice and useful, right? But it's also like a single target thing. And it doesn't happen like, like, and without Berserk, you don't attack nearly as fast. So having a sweeper, you know, if we find Leviathan or Bahamut or anything in the first place, but, but like having a sweeper is very nice, you know, for multi-target uh, enemies. Like, I don't think uh, our racers are going to do uh, uh, monster boxes, I don't think, but maybe they will, and having Rydia is going to be nice. Well, the alternative is she's going to be the anchor. At this point, True. uh... Oh. Yeah, at this perhaps, point, perhaps required. Yeah, although, although I mean, Tella is in the 
is one of the uh, objectives. So, uh, prob though most likely, if we do get tell at any stage, he would probably be the anchor. Like maybe like yeet, <laughs> yeet the bard. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and then and or 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 Rydia and then take uh, take a fresh fresh anchor. So I think uh, I don't think Sea Hero's on right. So it's no. yeah. So probably tell her if whenever that whenever he's found, he's gonna be the anchor. If we even find yeah. him. <laughs> well, hopefully he'll he'll show up. I mean, here's the thing with with like like usually one of the things that you want for your like end game party is like you know you want some damage, right? But with the darting, kind of like anyone by virtue of having levels is able to throw stuff out for damage. So honestly, that in this flag set, maybe like you want also survivability. And neither Edward nor Tella have survivability uh, when everyone else like with with the good weapons that you can you know have good damage output with everyone. So I don't know. I don't know what the final party uh, will be when we get there. Uh, well, that's 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 a quick way to uh, get rid of one target. Problem. Yeah. I'm always wondering if Tibalt should have just dancing daggered Rydia and then hit hit Edward, but uh, that's fine. It's still ha still fast enough to get it done, anyways. Uh, at the Mylon the Mylon uh, dance party spot, uh, not not very fast, so uh, plenty of time to do things. Yeah, on top on top of that, like uh, Edge is so fast that putting him in in the center slot, that like he 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 becomes the anchor and he's so fast, even even by default at, at base level, that he can outspeed uh, you know this spot. So so that's why he was able to down two characters right right away. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth talking about anchoring because uh, I know. Um, because a lot of seeds, especially at higher level play and more difficult seeds, you you find that uh, you know there's some bosses at certain spots. Like why are they why are they like why are they doing all these things to me? And I know I don't even get a shot to do anything. Uh, uh, being the uh, thing about the most important thing about anchoring is knowing first who is your anchor. So your position on the on the screen usually matters outside of other flags. Uh, affecting but more importantly how fast they are so you know we talk about edge he's the fastest character in the game um uh, and then we talk about like we talk about uh slower characters like atella or um or sid you know you, you when you and you always when when it comes to them you what you see how uh how a battle a battle changes dramatically when you have a faster or slower anchor Absolutely. Now, I don't think, like, uh, Tibble did check uh, Sheila, and I think Warling also checked the the, the Sylph Cave. I f I didn't see what was the last time. Was was it like a glass hold or something? No, a pass. But that's yeah. nice. Well, it's still worth it. Inevitably, I mean, you uh, late game, you want that, you want that pass to. Uh, not have to not have to take a nice long LST walk for the most part if you if you can't help it so I'm I'm all for a pass absolutely it like and, and you were gonna do this check anyways because that this is one of the checks that you just do because it, it it's it's dense and key items but so you know it's not even like lost time really. Yeah, uh, just 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 for a record, pass is not a key item, but it is part of the key item pool for the for the purposes of randomization. So it's a it's it's one of those things where it's like, well, well, why is it so? Why is it light up? But it doesn't count. Uh, yeah, it doesn't count. But it's just part of the pool. So if you get a pass, it's it's a I wouldn't call it a like a bad prize. It's like hey, it's. It's still I, I still want to get I still want to get to Z, and if yeah. you can avoid the LST, if it, it, you know when the when the seed dictates it, I would you know do you take advantage of it. Absolutely. Now there are many places like like it, it like both people and Whirling have, they went off in their own like different ways, but then they did a, a, a zag. And now they have like rejoined. They have done the same checks, more or less. So, 
I am interested to see what they're going to do next. Yeah, are, are they going to do like different things? Like, it's one going to do up the tower. It's, it's another one going to do dwarf. I'm... Oh, there's silk webs and exits. Very nice for sale. But Whirling doesn't get anything. Probably want an exit given that we have no white mage. I, I know Rydia has warp. I love warp. But uh, have you... Uh, ha, uh, how many How many people like go, go um, warping out of the LST? Uh, it's a... It's a fun time casting it over like I like like I've I've gotten warp signs down to a point where it's like you can if you get four cast four warps in in sealed cave that's a good day. LST is at least twice as many warps than that. Yeah, it's it's like I don't know. I even in like I have like like my thing is that I try to avoid going in Andalion Cave unless I have a warp because it takes a surprisingly long amount of time to walk out of the Andalion Cave, especially you know like early game. Like um you know that's not even speaking about the the LST or other places. But, but yeah, like like a restreamer Iron Lord says, like do you know that tell is somewhere? So are you gonna spend money on exits? So, but that's that's also a decision that you can take. I do want to point out uh, the uh, weapons that you think would be strong to throw are probably not as strong as you actually as you re realize. And I usually point out katanas, you know, edges, swords. Uh, I love Masamoon, I love Murazam, but you have you, ha you have to remember how Edge comp uh, computes his damage. Uh, because those we those weapons individually are very weak. When combined, they're awesome. But yep. so you you see a short sh short katana, it's awesome until you throw it and you're like, I could be throwing something better. Like they're they're pro I think they're the same cost as a shuriken. I'm not forget I forget the off the the shuriken's like um, price in free enterprise. But if you did it in vanilla, you you are tossing money away because uh, and. And shurikens are worth a truckload more yeah. in, in vanilla. So you, 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 so and throwing we're throwing really bad, really obsolete tarts. Uh, Rydia, yeah, you threw up. She might be throwing, could be throwing the strongest bow, but uh, her level one, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's nope. not doing Absolutely. anything. But yeah, like like uh, throwing ninja swords is uh, generally considered a bad idea. Because when you could be throwing something else, that's kind of like a desperation move when you need to, as as we say, throw throw everything and also the sink out. But we'll see what Tybalt gets uh, from this. Oh wait, never mind. There's one fight left. Who is it? Oh, it's Valvalis. But she's oh, not going to be a problem. Super free. Well, throws throws nice that doesn't care about whether you spin win. And yay, we probably going to eat someone for this. Oh, right now. So this. Oh, Tibble has a full now has a full party. Uh, Warlink picked up the cane, so uh, I don't. So yeah, that's. So we're so we're converging at the same place. We'll pro well, Warlink will probably eat. Uh, maybe a bard, maybe Rydia. We'll we'll see. We'll see who uh, goes who goes away. But uh, yeah, Val. It, Val, having dart is a really good valve protection uh, alternative to having Kane in your party. I'm. Uh, did Rydia really get Leviathan from the from the summons? I I, I miss them. I don't know, uh, but no. At least I mean I think like in the not just the beta, but even like the current version. It what used to be that a, a Leviathan got kind of re, got. Rolled into the possible summons here. Yeah, so it wasn't. Yes, so it was, when, when he was uh, when when the Bathing was was lowered to tier five, I believe. You know, he was. Uh, he can show up here now. Yeah, it's a really good spike boost. Um, the other spot to get a radius uh, boost in power would actually also be a. Uh, would also be Mount Hobbs. You, although getting rid of this light, probably not as not as value. But uh, hey, we got we got a nice spell and f oh, got enough yeah, levels. The the, right, Tibble kept Rydia really around uh, for this fight and kept her alive to get warp to get this the Earth Crystal. Very nice. 
Well, at least not objective. Well, sealed cave is definitely not in the not in the cards. So hey, uh, okay. And we're not. There's no more boss. I don't think we have a boss fight on the list. So that's that's all. Oh, we finished our boss fight already. So it's not the. So it's a. So it's one place we don't have to go, and maybe worth looting just just to get some dart more darts. Yeah, like like people don't like having to go to Seal K for very good uh, reasons. So it, it, it's nice that uh, this time we don't get, we don't need to go there. Yeah, depending on Tela where Tela is, uh, we are one carry away from go mode. And, and going up Tower of Sword is a good idea because it's two character checks, and one of them might be Tela. We'll see if Tela's hiding in the giant or not. I have a propensity to put the character search character hunts in the, in the giant, regrettably. I, well, you got two walls, so it's a good, pretty good chance. I mean, I, I mean, you, you, you do some math. Like, if two characters are coming, what are the chances one of them is what you is what you need for the for the seed? And uh, let's right now, this treasury is is. Uh, I mean, we look at more Asami, I guess. I think, ironically, the silver hammer probably is better than the Murasame. I'm trying to remember the deck. For darting? Like, yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, they're, the, they're, kind of, like, they're the same. It's like, it's, it's all right. It, it's fine. No, you know, it's not like anyone really uses a silver hammer for a long period of time. I mean, earth hammer is every, is is a favorite for uh you know for hammer yeah. for hammer time. They, for, they, they have the same damage. They have 55 attack. So yes, the, the silver hammer is just as good as the Murasame for Dark Tank. So yeah, that, I I don't I feel that was um, weak darts over ten. <laughs> that one, there, were, there were some yeah. decent stuff, but uh, they none of it. Uh, I think there's a rune axe, and that's about that's probably about the best thing to be thrown at the very least. Yes. Uh, yes, I mean, and the Runex is nice to have. Again, if 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 we have the uh, Berserk, it would be nice to keep around for uh, you know a Badasura at some at some place. But you know, without the Berserk, there's not much we can do about it. <laughs> you know, oh, Tybalt isn't going for a flame dog. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I think it's satisfied with probably the darts uh, on stock. I mean. At I think Warlink will have some use for the Rune Axe because he did pick up the cane. So I I, I I see some value, but that depends if the boss shows up. And even then, do you really need to use a Rune Axe? You just gotta toss everything. <laughs> yeah, like like with that with that uh, treasury being full of ammo, let's call it. Uh, you know, even if some of it was mediocre, that allows you know just about everyone to attack. Oh. Well, well, this is a pleasant, well, kind of unpleasant, actually, kind of unpleasant place to put Kainazo here. He has a lot of HP, but at the very least, he's really slow, so I don't think they'll have any problems getting through this. Right, yeah, this is the moment. Oh, do I want to? Do I want to throw the silver? Uh oh, no, Tibalt. You could be. You could have done it in the other menu, but that's all right. It's fine. Uh, we'll still be fine. Trying, trying to swap in and kill off. Wait. Did he vampire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's the uh, art. Is he setting up a slingshot for later? I think that was a that was probably mis <laughs> mismanagement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe. But you know, I I I always try to see like like these are both very very good players. So every time they like they they, they do something that's not like a standard play or a play that I'm confused about, I'm like oh. They must be doing some big brain plays uh, that I can learn about. But you know, so, so sometimes if it looks like a duck and quacks like a dog, it is a duck, as they say. Ooh, yeah, there's the Leviathan and Sirens enabling. That's real nice. Yeah. Good uh, yeah, tier five, like, uh, if you have a gated uh, shop, uh, usually we talk, we're thinking uh, Cave Ebelin, Underground, uh, Moon. Um, Tier five items are very valuable uh, when you when it comes to like like sirens gaining levels, uh, Bacchus wine fall into that hourglass is basically your tools of make kind of make making your seed as pleasant as possible. So 
oftentimes worth checking out the item shops just to, to pick something up. Yeah. Like, like you never know what, what you're going to find. There's Sid. Sid is pretty nice, again, in this flag set, because one of Sid's major issues is his lack of good offensive weapons, uh, you know, aside from his uh, subpar agility. He doesn't even that, have that bad of, of a strength uh, uh, level. But, you know, in this flag set, starting off at level 20, that's a really pretty, pretty dang good. And then, you know, as, as you put levels on him, he can keep just darting stuff. And even better, if you use him as your anchor, um, because you find a cursed ring, right? You can use him as the anchor and keep him darting, because darting doesn't care about your stats on your, on your, on your level. So... He will still be really slow, but still, it's like, Sid is great in, in this flex set. I knew it. Porum was the evil twin. It's all, it's all it's self-evident from, from the, <laughs> from the day she popped Palm. That's all, that's all there is to say, and I love it. Uh, but also, uh, Good die, Edward. Yeah, you, you take that, you take that mop any day and every day, uh, unless you don't really need the, like, if you have, like high level mage <laughs> mages, it, then then Fu probably is an afterthought. But at the at, at this stage, um, yeah, that free burst bump in power is hard to, hard to ignore. Yeah, absolutely. Like like, and and uh, speaking of berserk, here is our berserk option. So now we can uh, we can actually put strong weapons on characters and have them get berserked so they can swing them. You know, Aaron Lord in in chat is saying hashtag and friends. Well, the way the state's going, maybe maybe we can get us on some Fusoya and friends action instead of doing a big grind. But Sauron's are available in Evelyn Cave, so we'll see. Do we find a location for Star Veils? Because that is that would be actually no, I don't think yeah, so. I, think I don't remember. Because you really point. want a decent stack of them to kind of pull that off. If, you, if you're even thinking of doing it, but there's still so much of the seed to go. I mean, it's still we're still half an hour in, and you, I don't know. We just, you, I, I'm still thinking you, there might be still some some surprises and something some stuff that we still need to do. But uh, hey, we did complete objective. Yep. And on with objective number five, complete the Tower of under his belt. Uh, we'll see what Tybalt does next. Uh, the hook is, is available. Uh, so, yeah, it, it seems like that Tybalt is, is, is going for it. Warlink hasn't done the launch the Falcon. He he did some scouting and then turned around. Yeah, you have, you have to do so. That, that's, that's totally fair. Yeah, I, well, there are. Uh, besides being an objective, the reason you want to do Zot is if you're if you're kind of stuck with Rosa as your white mage, uh, you definitely want to complete it because uh, Exeta is pretty invaluable in various different locations. Uh, it's I, it's nice. It's like warp is a is nice to have, although some in some for some people it's like a requirement to <laughs> to make sealed cave less <laughs> less. Uh, a level of a, a walk, but uh, I heard heard just like their exit is just having exit on a ro on Rosa is nice, but we are we having Fu you know negates it, but still I like exit. Yeah, absolutely. Exit is real nice, huh? Oh, Tibalt, unlike Warling, Tibalt went ahead and bought six sirens out of the get go, maybe for like an early boost, perhaps. Uh, you when you're buying that f uh, that few, you're probably doing like a quick egg grind, quick egg grind just for levels. If like just even if you're not like like going like like full party, get um having like enough z ready levels, you just always ha it's always handy to have regardless. Uh, just there. Oh. Correction from from Jong in chat. Uh. He bought 16, 10, and then 6 after. So so that's that's all the sirens he's, he's gonna need if, if he gets the, the tech items. Well, if you're spending on anything, sirens are a pretty good buy. Like, you don't need 30, per, but you, you could, like... But 
even a even a dozen is usually more than enough to call a seed for for experience. Yep, absolutely. Is Tybalt gonna go ahead with it? Unlike a Warlink. I don't, I don't think Tim, Tibble has been that many options. Probably gonna, if, if nothing comes of, of, uh, if there's not, I mean, it routes into lower Babel to do so. I mean, this is, it works out <laughs> in terms of routing. Yeah, and you know, we don't have the tower key, and no one wants to do Keyless Tower. No one wanna do it. No, no one wants to do that. I, I, if you're if, if if you're like key key item strapped, I would do it. It's just like there's no, I I just I don't know. It's not like the, it feels sometimes feels bad, but you know, it could be worse that you have a you you get something on top of tower, that like say it's a pan and you gotta go to uh get the pan and then come back to to um and, and you pick up the tower key in, in, from Sheila or or from the pen bunk. I mean, you. I don't know. You sometimes you just have to do it. <laughs> That's just there. Are just there are ways that the randomizer gets to like go to visit for both three times because it can. <laughs> because it can. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Honestly, let's see what's waiting for us at uh, King Queen. But with with the power we're we're sporting right now, I don't think anything. It's not gonna be a problem, including plague. Plague is gonna be blown away rather quickly. You, yeah, this spot is normally dangerous. King Queen Evelyn, uh, you, you, all you remember is uh, trying to cast very weak fire, fire one, fire two. Uh, but but you know, the boss doesn't punch, and this is this is fine for this boss. But uh, if this spot had a punchy boss. Uh, Probably be a bigger threat, but having Fu uh, is a pretty good safety net for, for the most part. So uh, you never, you're not worried. You're oftentimes a, a, a hook seed gets you wor make uh, is worrisome for this per that spot and some occasionally the ruby spot, which is usually this is this is the follow up spot, the ruby spot. So um, yep. I, um, but you know, when you have a Fu, you're usually not worried. You know this. I mean, I mean, I was gonna call like this hook route free in quotes, but if you go to get to that plague early, uh, that's not free. That that plague is pretty fast and it's pretty mean, and you need to be prepared for it. But with the power that we're rocking right now, and now that that we have Fusoya and his quakes, we are gonna be perfectly fine. Yeah, and uh, this spot, ironically, yeah, Ruby, we remember. The Ruby spot. Remember, glare being a a really strong, really strong spell, and it's very strong. But uh, his, the spell multiplier uh, on Ruby is not that high, so those lightning ones, while uh, kind of a threat, is that ironically, they picked about the same spell multiplier like as his norm, his usual spot. It's that it's so uh, that lightning one. Uh, with the with a lot of our characters not having any armor worth speaking of uh yeah that, that uh, it's not it, does, it tickles and it'll still continue to tickle uh if you if this was if mylon was actually at uh some of the higher magic spots uh those lightning ones uh can actually can actually do some interesting numbers yeah absolutely uh but but you know, with the with the power that that we're rocking right now, it's it's not that big of an issue. Like it, even like armor wise, we're doing pretty well, so it's, so it's not much of a problem. It it, it kind of like when you don't have uh, when you have a you know a magma seat, but 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 one of the required objectives is launch the falcon. It's kind of like a formality, you know, which is it. it Especially if you get the hook late, you know it's it's kind of like out of your hands then. Uh, but if this were a hook seed, uh, the, the, yep. the, 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 there is some panic. Uh, I mean, veteran runners don't have that same panic, but it's it. There is some like if you if you just running the, these kinds of seeds, uh, the hook seeds uh, can be a little intimidating in the sense that you might you feel like you never you don't have the power or you don't. You, sometimes you do need to. You know, probably make a trip to Castle Evelyn, 
and loot it and and hope that power uh, hope that power is provided uh, generally through the levels but some of the items that you pick up so w always worth looking but people not even looking to peek not even to find out who's there goodbye i don't care whoever it is i'll i'll, I'll dart them i'll throw so many darts i mean what what boss could be problematic for us at the, at this point right with 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 the power that the that we're rocking i mean we've seen val with weak spot uh, we've seen we've seen laughing man uh blarg yeah. was at the back of bridge i mean they're not really not too many i think the only thing that would actually slow down would be like alt gauntlet at True. at the masa altar and that's how or or even the wife at the crystal sword altar but I, I really, I don't know. It, hard to say. I mean, you can, at this point, unless there's um, a na I'm forgetting what the bosses are at uh, at the ba at the uh, king queen spots uh, in Fey March. But at the at this point, you're like, eh, the seed is mostly over. Just have to power or maybe be clever at fighting some of the bosses. I mean, there's the. There usually isn't too many left. I mean, there are, I mean, little punchy bosses, uh, notwithstanding, especially, like, at the Leviathan spot. I think Bygone's already gone. Like, there, maybe yeah. Dark Imps. Maybe Dark Imps, but then you have a Foo, and you, like, there's really not too many bosses left. Mm -hmm. I mean, just by the nature of the wacky, you know, the uh, uh, World uh, world Championship of Darts is, is it's kind of like a, already a powerful flag set. Because because you can just dart everything and everyone can do it, but you add a a, a, a Fusoya to the mix, especially with 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 that MP glitch that I love to have in my flex sets. Yeah, I was you gonna know. mention. I was gonna mention. It's like, uh, it's like that, that flag was on. Oh well, yep. well I missed I, it. I, I I love having that flag on. It, it, it makes it, it makes Tela more viable for for like regular combat. I I like it. Um, mm -hmm. But elements is not gonna be. Oh, I was gonna say that it's not gonna be too problematic, but 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 Rydia almost took took a nose die to the floor. I mean, the Azura spot is known to be punchy, but usually manageable. But only you usually remember Azura being very manageable because you, if you keep any sort of mage resisting equipment, you, you know, you, the 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 fight is not not the same kind of threat. But uh, this is not a good spot to be leaving in. Leaving in Ruby because, uh, oh, well, that at least went that went pretty quick because, uh, Azure does have reasonably good spell power. So if the, if that would left but any longer, uh, there would be a quick wipe. Yeah. In, in, interestingly, uh, I would like to point out that Warlink. Uh, took went back to the Tower of Wishes, grabbed a seed, and and chucked Kane uh, out of the party. So that's that's that, that's interesting to me. I wonder if he if, if he wants uh yep he wants Sid to be the anchor. That's neat. Yeah, you def. I mean, if you're going, if you see any runner going to Tower of Wishes, it's not percent. It's either slingshot or anchor, or both. So it's um. And uh, that's, that's an unfortunate wipe for Tivolt, uh, underestimating this spot. Yeah, it's it's it, it's real troublesome. Like like the both the king and the and the, and the queen spots. Uh, like like almost no matter which boss, it, it it's here almost with with some minor exceptions. It it it, it tends to be like a troublesome uh, time, unless unless you have a lot of power. And while we have decent levels and decent equipment and dartables. We still like some survivability. I think for Tipple, if you're doing this spot, you gotta get rid of a Banalb, the Frankenstein monster, out quickly, and or and try so to because the punchiness of the of the spot is incredible. So I think I feel like this is an error in the sense I'd rather get rid of. Well, no, actually. You actually, if you get rid of the, if you get rid of the doc, good doctor, um, the 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 robot explodes on his own. If you get rid of the robot uh, and not kill Doctor Luke at the same at the, about the same time, um, then you get into uh, 
essentially a resurrected robot, which isn't even a, uh, it's not even considered a mech anymore. So it's a, it's not a machine. Like when he when when Doctor Luge runs the robot, literally, uh, not a machine. So you, so I I feel I feel like Tibble's trying to get Manal to a reasonable HP to if. Ex- to more explode a, a truckload of HP and kill off one of his characters. Yeah. Okay, this is not the easy part because uh, yeah, it doesn't pu- it doesn't punch, so this is fine. Yes, but now it's time for the real fight. The real fight <laughs> where he punches you. He d- he never punches you. That's that's the fight. Uh, so Warlink taking on uh, Mylon, uh, not having any problems because uh, you know you got a foo. You've got, it's it's a, it's mostly a walk in the park with the, with the occasional punch. Got uh, probably want to get that Rosa getting some decent levels. Yeah, yeah, that Rosa is in the process of of of, of going to get a ton of EXP, which is very pleasant to see. Uh, this party is gonna need all of the HP they can get for Soramus, like. Uh, I'm guessing, especially Tybalt, uh, Tybalt, I don't think, is considering that he bought 16 Sirens, I don't think he's going to do uh, Fusoya and Friends, but Warlink, I don't think, has bought the Sirens, unless I missed it, someone should correct me if I did. So, uh, we'll see what the what the end game strategy is. So, one of the fi- one of the aspects Dr. Luge is displaying is, you know how out- that gas, why is it not applying when they're poisoned? Uh, there's, a, there's this thing called, you know, uh, stat priority for mat for for spell based status effects. Um, there's a priority, so um, so something like death is the highest priority, whereas the weakest would be something would be closer to towards berserk. Um, and so sleep appa- sleep is uh, not a, not a higher priority than poison. And being poisoned and the the lovely sounds for some people in their ears, uh, the poison walk. Yeah, that. That I'm, um, that is a that's a sound and not also not meant to be heard at, when walking at a rapid pace that uh, Free Enterprise walks at. Boy oh boy, uh, like have you ever seen some I don't know some some vanilla Final Fantasy IV like footage like like someone's playing it or something on the on the Super Nintendo and it's like oh my goodness this is so slow, it's like they're walking through molasses. Like, like you're so used to free enterprise that that, that you go back to, to regular speed, and it's like, oh my gosh, how did we ever like, like keep up with this? I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, like to be fair, I mean, if you every every Final Fantasy four, like Final Fantasy, like uh, SNES, Super Famicom port, they they all have auto like a run like run auto run like literally enabled for you like this. I, I, when you when you look back at how how the 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 leisurely pace pace that uh the the characters walk, you can appreciate when a randomizer has the has has the like an essentially automate automatic sprint shoes on on yeah, because because like like Final Fantasy IV has no recourse in the Super Nintendo, but uh, Final Fantasy V the thief can sprint right, and in Final Fantasy VI there's like a an accessory that allows you to run right also. A treasure, I think it's called, or whatever. Yeah, spread shoes. Yep. Yep. So it's 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 very nice, you know. At least in five and six, they they thought about this. They were like, you know, last game we were kind of slow, huh? <laughs> Ooh, shoutouts to to Tivol doing a really cool uh, ice three uh, and getting a power shield for for his troubles. That's real nice. Did we actually get anything out of these two, though? No, I don't, no they, I, I'm uh, pretty sure. Yeah, this is trash. That was. I mean, summer. that's a free grind, and Warlink stumbles onto uh, another free, free boss at a free, sp- a generally free spot. Uh, yeah, good times. Don't figure Killis Tower was the answer all along. It always is Killis Tower, even no matter how much you don't want it to be Killis Tower, it will always be Killis Tower. That that's how it is. I mean. To be fair, the difficulty in doing Keyless Tower, if, if worst comes to worst, like if you if you don't get you get unlucky, fine. But the difficulty between King Queen Evelyn spots, I mean King Queen Feymarsh spots, and Doctor Luge, uh, 
you mean if you if you're uh, like a a new runner, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna do um, from you kind of do the um, probably do what Warlick is doing instead of what Tim yeah. is doing. Yeah, like I I, I I totally understand that honestly, but like the thing is in free enterprise, especially in a race, it's like wow, I'm gonna try to wait. Uh, I'm 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 gonna try to wait until I have the the, the tower key. So it it it's two checks in one trip, right? Because the the the, the tower of Babel is so gosh darn long. And uh, in chat asking if we have seen uh, demons, yes, we have. It was uh, Mount Hobbs, and it had the magma key. So, so nothing. Yeah. There. You know, given this, Warlock might be ahead if Warlock does, decides. To fade, fade march, fade march. Yes, <laughs> fade. Every place you want to fade, they have. Sometimes they have a, they have a special name. So, uh, chances are, Baron Key might not necessarily get you the super cannon, but will get you to where this seat needs you to go. So, uh, Warlock might be ahead only if if deciding to fade, fade march altogether <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Uh, and so we got the Baron key out of out, out of the <laughs> top of tower. What a what a ping pong seat this has been. There is no like 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 you know how some seats they have like a like kind of like a clear path where where you like oh go here then you go here then you go here and you just like play the seat normally. And sometimes you get seats like this, which is like just go all over the place, like like do whatever <laughs> because the seat is not gonna help you with that. Yeah, when you when you're routing, routers will hate this. <laughs> That's, yeah, the, there yeah. will be seeds that the seed tells you uh, you gotta go the way I tell you. Uh, but I, I I do enjoy seeds uh, every so often where they, where there's a lot more divergence because there'll be more interesting things going on. You know, with more objectives, that can be allows for more divergence. And this seed right so far isn't very divergent. I mean, some things, some of the starting, uh, you know. Uh, kind of like direction like the routing you know you can do whatever kind of do whatever you want but inevitably sometimes you just kind of converge back into the main theme so Tibalt knows exactly what has to be done War warlink is may is kind of rethinking do i want to do it and it's like uh, probably like uh, uh, uh gotta do it i guess this is i mean especially when you're playing against uh, a gambler in Tibalt. this is probably the only, this is kind of the only route you're gonna have to go so i think this is this might this might help Warlink like, get some, get some, just kind of build a little time before real, you know, kind of at least trying to at least keep pace, or at least keep him, keep Tibble off, <laughs> off his back a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we'll see if Warlink ends up fading the the Fey March. Uh, the, the, there is a chance that that he decides to go down there anyways, you know. But uh, like 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 one of these has to be Darkness Crystal, right? Either the Baron Throne or the Baron Basement. Probably it's the Darkness Crystal or something else. You know that gives you more key items. But at this point, I can think of anything. So, yeah. So so the key item will will come in the po potential key items will come in either the Odin Throne, which probably might not be the first choice. Maybe just have like if you have to do it, like if if you're not confident in doing the Odin spot. Um, which is re is just pretty dangerous if there's a mage if there's a like a if there's a lot of magic being used there. Uh, but in free enterprise, the pot, the barren pot, where because I mean since we pick up the the enterprise immediately, uh, we do we still do the uh, the entire scene of going to the en the the walk down the enterprise. Except instead of the staircase, uh, there's a pot. Because why not? I've always liked that. I always thought it. it, it it was really cute. The Baron Trash King. <laughs> as, 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 as we have lovingly been said. Hey, I, hey you, you, you might be jealous of the, the, of the, of the Baron Trash Can. I like <laughs> the drinking pot at Dwarf. That is my favorite place to drink. You can't stop me. It's the, it's where, it's, it's the moonshine. That, that, and I never had moonshine, but I feel like I should, I should find out what that's all about. Maybe. <laughs> sure. Um, Dark Games is 
just oh I I I love the use of the <laughs> <laughs> you know using a grimoire just just to get it over with it, like like oh it's it's gonna be something with an AOE and they're gonna die right away um you know you roll one of the few things oh my gosh roll link oh well, that's, <laughs> that's so got, funny. got orange <laughs> sheet that's 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 like the worst thing that does like an Odin oh great oh wait this the the thing about the Odin summon is that it's regardless of how it's summoned whether if it's from Rydia or from the item there's a 50% outright 50% chance it fails so then yeah, that's like like, that's like 50%. Okay, so it's based on, on Rydia's uh like wisdom right and when she has max wisdom it, then there was like a coin flip after afterwards yeah. So every point that's under max wisdom, it's it's also more chances that it can miss. And I don't think the Grimoire has maximum spell power. Probably not. So it's probably be like really inaccurate and bad. Uh, With the so, Cecil, we don't care about Cecil. Goodbye, sir. I don't. It's not even that we. It's not even that we have a weapon. But it's like you're, you're too late into this seed. That's good. I mean. Uh, Yang is actually better at this point. <laughs> that's, that's and you don't you, very rarely do you say Yang is better than Cecil at, at in, in a seed. It, it just it doesn't happen. But when it does, it's because you know when when a character shows up late and you probably wanted them earlier, uh, it, it's a, it happens. Yeah, it's rare, but it happens, and that's and, and that's one of the reasons, one of the things that, that that I really enjoy about the wackies is that sometimes they can turn the you know the the regularly established meta, right? Like it can turn it on its head, and I think that's really cool. Honestly, like a lot of these are, are very silly, but some of the wacky uh, flags have some real competitive potential. I mean, I mean, we just we just came out of the a tournament where it were it had like Omni Dextrous on, and I think that's really competitive. There's others like uh, like Sable's Big Chocobo that is also pretty cool, and and you know I think I think that these flags are real neat, like big bias I guess that's why I'm doing the club I guess. <laughs> Speaking of Yang is better Yang's better than Cecil. Uh, Warling says uh, no. <laughs> that's, no. That's, that's like. Could have done, could have made that decision a bit because like oh oh no already having regrets it, it, it happens it happens but I mean at, at this point it's fine although I would I was kind of surprised not waiting till getting to maybe the darkness crystal but still has to probably uh, you know opting interesting interesting opting to do fame probably uh, uh Warlink, I thought Warlink did uh, this already yeah oh, but there, maybe the, 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 there's some items yeah there we go. Oh no! Oh no, dwarf! Dwarf man, no! No! Stop it! Probably should reset <laughs> the room. Reset. Yeah, the room. at this point, at this point, but but you know, the sunk cost fallacy is is is, is real. <laughs> oh, that, that is no, that's definitely real. Yeah, so, it is. So Tybalt knows the the play, place where he needs to go is Odin. Uh, unfortunately, I think Warlink this is going to be routing into Fey March, which I, this might be unfortunate for Warlink. I think this is uh, because of the two opportunities instead of the one opportunity. Although, oh no, oh, maybe it's just Forge. Okay, well, and uh, with Sea Hero not being on, oh, this is well. Uh, well, it, it, it's yeah. also not all not not a uh, Forge old or Super Forge, so it's gonna be an X scale. But that must be why, like that 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 Cecil might be some like plenty interesting. Or you can chuck it, but that, that's why I, I, I left the I, I left the the normal the normal fortune because Excalibur has this reputation for being an excellent dartable. So or, or, we pick, but we just picked up a Cecil, so uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna swing, <laughs> more likely to swing it instead. I mean, you never know, right? Ooh, that's a pam from the rather nasty Dark Knight Cecil at the Baron basement. Yep. So yeah, speedy enough to av not even get the life potion off. I mean that you know, that's that's what happens. You gotta gotta get that command in. Um, you know that's what that's what um, faster spots do uh, because of the anchor. Just you know can't get your, get get your turn in. If you, that's what. So gotta gotta get in before 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 the boss. That's. 
not not doesn't happen to too many seeds, but yeah, that ha it happens. Honestly, Warling has a lot of money, and I saw those Gagnis for sale. They can pick up a couple. Th those start for a lot of damage, you know. A Gagner, I mean, I remember 92 attack power is most, it, and I say, I like to say, 92% of the attack power you ever need. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, for at least for Kane, anyways, like, like you know, one of his best spears, Dragoon Spear, is 99 attack power. Uh, White Spear is 109. So you, it's like, between the weapons, sure, the attack power is different, but I mean, from from a cane from from using cane a lot, it's the attack multipliers are way more important than than having um than oh, yeah. just the the raw attack power. I mean, I mean, I'm I mean for darting, like like 92 attack power for a dart, that's real nice, honestly, and, and it's not even that. I mean, it is reasonably expensive, but it's not even that expensive. But you know, you will grab drain spears for for that reason. They they are almost as much uh, attack power, and they're way cheaper. I thought there was a light sword av available for sale on one of the sh on on the gated shops. I think dartables. That's nice. Yeah, that's that shop like was ninety nine yeah. attack power. That's real nice. Oh yeah. It I mean, it's a nice sword, but I mean, we know we have the Excal on, because of the, because of turning in Forge. So, uh, but yeah, that I think a light sword. I think the price the same, if I'm not mistaken, or very similarly. It, either way, they're they're either fine darts. Most, uh, I mean, they'll get you. They won't get you quad nines, but you're like no. you're most of the way there, really. Yeah, like like that's the thing. As as you have more more money or more you know availability to get money by be getting better loot, you can just buy better darts to to check out things. Um, do you know the more levels you have, the better. <laughs> it's it's very interesting because the cool thing about the sirens is that each siren, like each attack is a, a dart. But you know, when you have 99 in charm arrows, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be doing just fine. That has become your standard attack. Yep. Just, that, that's that's why it's uh it's the darting it's the darting championship. It's just yep. throw um, 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 So he starts at level like 50, so he's gonna dart real good. Yeah, that is because I underrated. You, I mean, you have to. I mean, like, Fu. As much as we we don't think of much of it. Think much of his MP pool. I mean, we think all or all we think about is casting all the strong magics. Maybe, maybe doing a like a D, D machine grind, possibly. Although this, I mean, both both the runners are doing egg grinds because it's because. I mean, it's right there, right? Well, we don't have darkness. So <laughs> that's the True. that's the that's the main reason. True, fair, fair enough, but also. We have to launch the Falcon, and the shop was right there on the way, and they had the sirens, so it's it's kind of a no-brainer. Kind of, I, I kind of get that. I understand. So, what checks are left? The Pang, right? Tibal got the Pang, so Sheila too has to have the Darkness Crystal, right? Or, uh, or at least, or, or the Self, I guess. Uh, did you uh, was case was case summon on? Because if case case summon on, then the self check is the pe the pen bonk is the self check. So that yeah, would, so. so so it's two two key item checks. So so one of those has to be darkness for sure. Oh. I mean maybe not. Maybe it's like rat tail or something. But yeah, there will, there will be chains. You know, um, you know, I'm not sure what the average number of like chains that exist i mean there i mean there's plenty of chained key items that exist like uh like uh usually pen is definitely top of the list because it opens two options well technic two but technically three if yeah. if, if you don't if you count sheila one um sometimes and uh so but i think though i think pen is the biggest um Chain link of all of, of, of yeah, the ball, yeah. if you ask me. Uh, Pang has the potential to be three key, three key item checks, and if all of three, uh, if you roll three key items per per like you know one for one for one for one, you just you have so much to do. 
right? If 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 they are not uh, terminal key items, you have to just suddenly an explosion of, of of choices to go through. And I usually and I usually don't look at fan that way. Like it's like like I like rat. Like you think rat tail, you think of maybe um like the the keys. Oh, like the Baron key is also also. Uh, also popular one, especially if K if K summon is on, you know the, the pot the and the summon spot. I mean, yeah. So, but the pen has the has literally the most potential. So, and not to say it's like it's it's like the end all be all because sometimes pen gets you nothing and and uh, there's plenty of seeds yep. showing that. But you you think of the potential of how many. Uh, how many how how many things get unlocked and how and the kind of possible potential of, of chained of chained key items. Uh, I don't I don't know what the maximum is. I've never mathed it out, but I'm sure it's maybe maybe realistically three or four at most, and and that doesn't even happen very often. Yeah. So that. That was nothing. So, like, like Iron Lord or a real streamer was saying, like, oh, what if it's Harb, right? That, like, that, I mean, sorry, when I said that was nothing, I meant, like, like I was thinking about what Iron Lord said about, about having Harb first before Darkness, because because that way you don't, you don't even need to go to the moon. But, but, but that's, but, but Jung in chat also points out, like, yeah, you check Sheila too, why not? Wait. Tybalt never went to, to Kaipo? Oh my goodness. Probably, I'm wondering... Well, we don't have the Sand Ruby, so it's trying, maybe... It's an anchor. Case the anchor, I guess. So we need... That's to, so funny. Uh, That's hilarious. Oh, like, right, Tybalt hasn't gotten a lot of character checks, so this makes this makes sense. It, it just, like, Tybalt did the package, like, rather early on. And then just bailed and, and like he has been carrying Kane on, on adventures for for an hour and only now he gets to try to join the party <laughs> and I think that's very funny. Well, I mean, so tell uh, uh tell locations. We haven't checked the sand ruby spot. Worst case, tell us shows up in the giant <laughs> or on the moon. The, I, the, Nice as if it's in the moon, like uh, checking yeah. the moon dais. Other than that, um, there aren't too many spots to see, and I think Tybalt's checking because uh, you're already here, so might yeah. as well. Might as well, yeah. Yep, there he is. Uh, don't have it. <laughs> it's like, uh, oops. Dang it. <laughs> I'm still looking. It's like, uh, oh, oops. Somehow, my phone had it. Like if I keep looking, maybe maybe if it's real deep in my pockets. Hold up, hold up. I'm feeling around. Maybe, maybe you have the rock around it's, you somewhere. It's, it's under the couch. It's under the couch. That's 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 where all that's where all your sand rubies are hidden. That that's where they're that's how they fall. That's where they fall out of your pockets. <laughs> Giving our, our, our poor tracker does does play a heart attack that that they missed the, the, the sand ruby somehow. <laughs> oh. I mean, sometimes you think you have it. It's like that's like like why would you route this? It makes like it makes no <laughs> makes no sense. You you don't do this if it if two things work work that way. So maybe from a routing, it works out if you have the item. So it's probably mm -hmm. forgot package. Remember, thought package. Maybe rem thought sand ruby somehow. I mean, there could be a Tela dupe. There could be like I don't, I don't have we seen any dupes yet. No, I don't think so. Oh, Tybalt was set out of that tower key. I don't understand I, that. But you wanted the tower key. Like, Wait. The, I guess we have the moon, but uh, are we? It's not. We're not in Gomo yet. I, I guess he didn't care about it. Like, like walking out of the castle takes longer than resetting out of the castle. So goodbye. I mean, I mean, Tybalt. Tibble has to ga be gambling. The Tella is on the moon, as a, yeah. like a duplicate Tella. That that would be the only way this would and, work. Or and or the Sand Ruby is on the moon, like because of the density of checks, you know, because because like uh, going up the Tower of Babel, like first going outside the castle, down to the underworld, then up the Tower of Babel, doing the the, the cutscene of the Super Cannon, then going down the Tower of Babel and doing the cutscene of the airship picking you up. 
that's a lot for a single key item check when you can go to the moon and do like seven. I mean, the only, I mean, I don't, I mean, it, typical gamble. If it were Tella on the moon, that'd be great. I feel, I still feel like to <laughs> lengthen the seed would be like if, um, if like K value actually had the harp or. Yeah, the Ruby. That would be, that would be. I think what's, <laughs> that would be my dream for at least for now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. The the nickname in the community is Tibble the Gambler. So you never know with, with this guy, this hacking guy, <laughs> always pulling stunts on the stream. <laughs> have we have we actually looked at the the complete chain that is to, to the tower key though? I mean, there was the the hand before that. Uh, yes. And the pen was in, in, in Baron Basement, and the Baron was at the tower. It was a top of tower, so that's a very roundabout thing. Yeah. Although I don't, you know, there aren't too many seeds that have chains, but if you could, oh, there there's, there's, there's the gamble. The dupe, there's the dupe teller. I mean, I mean, Fire Blizzard in chat pointing out like, hey, this is like straight up odds. Like, like this has better numbers. So yeah, fair enough. I mean, of what's left, yeah, there's pro the probability is still reasonably favorable. I don't know what the limited characters, but it has to, at some point you, if if there, if, I'm sure there's a character limit, and if there's character counting, then you'd a reasonable guess that the reasonable chance that the that if there was a dupe, uh, it would it wouldn't be too hard to uh, stumble upon. So Moon was almost haunted, almost, almost, almost haunted. Maybe the the sun ruby and the and the harp are around here, but we don't care. We have the pass. Goodbye. Yeah, that means I think we're gonna do Fu and friends. This like, we're not. Don't, oh, actually, well, they both in, both both runners have gained levels at least enough to do Fu and Fu and friends on, at a reasonable pace. Uh, so I think. Yeah, it seems that 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 table the, has decided to not keep doing any any, any more grind. So. We'll see. And um, he has the aptly named Floor Teller <laughs> standing in the middle, ready to re ready to help out with with the anchoring. What a trooper! Look, th that's what that's that's you need to you need someone to look at the floor the whole time so you don't you don't uh, leap into trap doors. You know, the, yeah, the, yeah. That that's that, you but yeah, you still know, yeah. like like you never know what devious traps and tricks the evil man Ceremons has set up in store for you. Like keeping check on the floor seems like a no brainer to me. Usually in in fantasy tropes, you will you will get like a thief or a rogue of some kind to check for traps, but that's nothing an old man can't handle. You know, I mean, you know, the mop is floor adjacent. You know, just, just, <laughs> just, just, just pointing out. <laughs> I love that floor adjacent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, um, you know, we don't, as usual, we don't, uh, we don't change where Serum is because Serum sucks and he's too strong and his, uh, his, his cool, uh, uh, tactics are really powerful and all, and so are all of his moves. But we change how he looks like, and so we like to ask the question of uh, whose spot are we gonna kick tonight? Because there's like a um, around five trillion sprites that he can turn into. I've, I've lost track. Uh, five, uh, if it were five trillion, we, I would just be rolling seeds. <laughs> it's more. I, I think it's like over five hundred. It's a. It's I, enough. I think, it, I think it's getting close to seven hundred now. Really, it, this incredible amount. Uh, there, um, Scala Kitty uh, does quite a lot. I think board, uh, yes, board, um, the greater the, the, the initial uh, batch of like the first seventy, I think. And Scala Kitty has done the the rest with with with, with some contributions. But uh, we'll see what he looks like. I'm always a fan of of, of the variety of sprites that there. Are. Octavio from the Hacking Legend of Zelda, uh, 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 wow, what, uh, Necrodancer crossover game. That's a thing that yes. happens. Uh, that's, like, that's a thing that exists. We live in a curious timeline. Yeah, Cadence of Hyrule. Thank you, chat. Yeah, this, uh, 
I mean, it makes me think I'm I'm playing like uh one of the those those the, these um, guitar hero type games. Like I'm like yeah, uh, a rhythm game, yeah. <laughs> if, oh, if only we. If only we could put in the Konami code. <laughs> the Konami code for what? It's a free enterprise. That, 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 that's, it's a it's it's a it would be a good thing. But uh, I think we're gonna just toss everything and anything. Uh, I mean, yeah. Z though Zerking a Zerk to Cecil probably still is more productive. Uh, free, free hit as it were. Um, so free free dart because uh, all these darts are not infinite, but there are plenty of darts to um, you know. To make the most of, and hoping this big bang isn't. Oh, this is a definitely nerfed big bang for sure. But uh, and though I think this team probably would be good enough to survive a full big bang. Uh, maybe not edge, but it's most it will survive. Uh, edge edge isn't really necessary with with that. Everyone knows throw, throwing that even for Soya probably does does more damage throwing darts than using his nukes. But I don't know for sure. Definitely won't suffer a, a, a counter, that's for sure. I think that's pretty nice. Well, MP isn't free, so the, the, you're ca top, capped out at f three nukes uh, if, if you don't use any of the Soma drops. So I think you want to use, that, use those as for a cure for emergency. So I, I would... Yeah, I agree. Probably, it's, it's, a, it's a safe safety play, and I, I'm fine. I'm good with that. Man, like, there is so many... Ninja stars, like it, it, it's like a machine gun. How do how does he keep doing that? It, and like it, that's not like the bows, like the the arrows and the music notes, right? It's not based they, on they, multipliers. No, they're actually no, they're well, they're not based on the multipliers, but they use the maximum possible animation, which is I think nineteen, because they can. <laughs> so, so yes, silly. so if you actually count it, there are nineteen. Shur uh, shurikens on the target when you use it, so you go, you basically go full animation when it comes to that. Wow. It's is nineteen the maximum number of, of multipliers you can have. Yes, that is the that's the specific reason. No, oh, that explains it. That explains it. Oh, and there it is. Tibble has finished the race in first place. Uh, with a time of one hour twenty minutes and fourteen seconds. GG is Tibble. What a, what a Sid. Sid has jokes, and that's how we like to see it. We like to see jokes in this club. I mean, um, uh, that's that's a that's a great. That was a that was a blast of a seed. <laughs> Just would like would also always like to ask a very fun question about that. Although, not sure what War, uh, Warlink is gonna try to be cute here though. Hello, Tibbled. Hello. See, you had jokes. That's what we yep. see around here, don't you think? Yeah, I had jokes. Uh. <laughs> you groaned, but you won. What more do you want? <laughs> I, I thought I saw the Sand Ruby in my inventory, and I'm like, well, fine, I'll do the package to go check the Sand Ruby, and it's like, oh, hey, it's still a... You, I have a Sand Ruby. Did you give our tracker death play go like 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 a heart attack? Like, oh, did I miss it? <laughs> I, I thought I missed it too, so I marked it on my track. And I'm like, oh, and then I got them like, oh, I don't have the sand ruby. Well, <laughs> fine then. Be that way, game. Yeah, we, we were even talking in the booth. Like, what if it's the dupe? Like, what what if the dupe is tell on the moon? That would be hilarious. <laughs> and, 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 oh, I would have, like, I sat there and I was like, tell us on the moon, like, oh, well, okay, I'm in go mode, let's go. <laughs> that makes things easier, huh? Oh, yeah. I was, I personally was hoping for, uh, for you to have to do cave tell you, just, just to, just to get the last thing, but, uh, how, how, how much oh, fun? I would have done Murrah first, I would, I would have done Murrah in the bottom up on the moon. Oh, just yeah. because of the mass medic items I had, you know, that I needed, and not just tell. Like at that point, it's either gonna be Sand Ruby or Giant, or Tell is gonna be. Um, I'd rather find either the Harp or the Sand yeah. Ruby. You know, absolutely. Did you toss that uh cat claw for fun? Because that was the first. <laughs> sure that's the first thing you threw. It's like I don't want this. Yeah, it was always a charm that I threw. Oh, the charm first, uh, because oh, I swapped off Yang from the charm claw to the cat claw. 
Oh, I see. Oh, I missed that. For the agility. Right. Did you want a fast anchor for the beginning? Because the Charm Claw has, like, garbage accuracy, right? Yeah, it's only got 30% accuracy. I think. It's terrible. That's yeah, it's an extra three agility, but it's terrible. You could have had two claws, though. You can combine the, the power of both Cat Claw and Charm Claw. Yeah. But then I, had, then I had Edge, and I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> Don't really care about I've got fast enough agility as it is with him. Yeah, fair enough. Trying to find the darkness crystal. I'm like, where is this darkness crystal? <laughs> yeah, that was a that was like a goose chase. It was, uh, it was like a, the hacking like 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 a Looney Tunes music playing in the background as as, as running around, ping ponging around like a pinball machine. Oh, there's the sand ruby that came out. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you said, that like. When you come out of Baron, you have the Cecil. It's like it's darts. It's like. He's got no use. Then you get the legend sword. It's like, well, I do have a Bacchus wine. I would like I someone have, to have, buffer the Z fight. That's hilarious because you found the, the one Bacchus wine. I'm like, well, <laughs> I've got the plan. Trust me on this I one. Need somebody to buffer that Q, you know? Bacchus wine, Cecil with an x Ninja Power Zeus. Yes, please. So overall, I, I will say your experience with the with the with the silly seat has been satisfactory. Oh yeah, I mean, good. <laughs> these wacky flags can be so much fun, and World Series dice really makes it think. I wanted to buy more samurai arrows. Yeah, could not find them for sale anywhere. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> best, best, best we gotta try arrows, buddy. Uh. Well, unless you want to sit there and steal Artemis arrows from carries. Yeah, that's that's not a like a complete time sink or anything. No, not at all. I mean, we did have form. We could have done cry steal. I <laughs> guess. Wow. <laughs> this, this like the options are out there with the big ideas. I will say I like it. In fact, I don't. I didn't have to walk down Luca. <laughs> Yeah, that we we were all relieved at, at, at seeing that honestly, especially because it had the the early radio. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, radio. I, I kept her down early. She didn't get experience from my like, well, Fine, I'll let her get levels at dwarf. I totally forgot that you were carrying around a cane in tow <laughs> through, through the entire seat, and he was like, "Well, I guess yep. she's the anchor now." <laughs> yep, I was keeping game because I was just like, at the package, no reason to go. Okay, so there's the other option. You go tw you go tower key from Sheila 2 to get the rat tail to get your twin harp. Wow, that's that, that's really bad. <laughs> that's that's a th Wow! So I mean really the moon only had one thing. Moon haunted. Very nice. Well, te well, technically two. It was your Tella. Yeah, fair enough. Both options for Tella. Anyway, Tim, well, thanks a lot for joining us today. Uh, any any last uh, inputs on the seed? No, it's just this this seed was just a super troll every which way you look at it. Like, it was... <laughs> but, 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 like, funny. You have to full clear funny. everything just to get your darkness crystal. Well, you know, so... Well, uh, GG's Tibbled, and thanks again for showing up. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you had fun. Of course, as always. GG's well, again. I'm going to pop off here while I let music play for y'all. I mean, we're only about to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so, so take care, Tibbled. Yep, take care. Have a good one. That was an unfortunate wipe. Oh, Come but what rolling is 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 ready for take two. Yeah, I'm gonna it, gonna bring the fight to him. Yeah, the, like oftentimes you uh, we want to like think about um kind of like sometimes I'll, there are things where like uh Z fights can go bad pretty easily. Yeah, like, like, it's, 
it's why there's there's like a saying that's like the Zeromus is never free. Like it, like even when when Zeromus is you know easier than normal because you have uh, you know an overpowering amount of levels or equipment or anything like that, you still need to do to know what you're doing. If you don't, you'll you're, you're gonna have a bad time because uh, the Zeromus doesn't joke around. Yeah, you know, I, I mean the the I mean the wombo combo being you know big bang into like rocks, <laughs> the surprise. Uh, you got big bang, and then and then and then rocks fall on you. And it's like ah, uh, it, especially with uh, the, yeah. the HP HP given. It's but it has it has happened every every so often, especially if you're not like Z normal ready levels. Like I think it it HP does matter for for surviving so it's 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 it can be a surprise when it happens yeah absolutely especially like none no character of warlink surpasses the the 2000 hp threshold uh, especially rosa like like warlink has gone into the fight with with some lower level uh characters and that can be pretty dangerous because an, an unnerved big bang can easily surpass the, the the 2000 uh, mark so so you're either gonna have to met the down zero moons before he, he can get a second big bang out or uh manage to nerf the second big bang uh because because with with the damage numbers we we're seeing it's 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 pretty generous i think yeah the, the um i think i think is uh, warlock is going for more traditional set up more like a hybrid with with some with with some reflex strats uh you want you got like the two two zerkers slowing slowing down z a little bit by clogging up the q and oh, perfect target for the nuke that's all that's all right see it goes down beautiful thank you brave 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 uncle taking one for the team yeah, you, you know, you know that's the great thing about this flag about about this wacky is that you can have Rosa just just chuck an axe for four thousand damage if you don't have anything else to do with her. It's real nice. I mean, it, it'd be nice if she had white, but I mean, but why don't? But throwing more things are a lot is a lot more enjoyable than the, than the usual fare. Okay, this big band should be fine. We'll have queued up the the, the, the cure four, but but I, but I think Warling is safe right now. I don't think Edge got too too um too good a weapon. I mean the Excal is definitely doing work for Cecil, but I think it's a oh it's a Mur is it probably a long sword? I'm not sure. I think that's pretty good. It's, it, it's definitely it's workable. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's definitely workable. It it's kind of close to a, like a ninja ninja, which is like what I will say. It's like the minimum good sets of weapons you you want to bring to Sermons for for Edge. I mean, uh, the normal. I think the normal. Uh, like the, the bare minimum is having like a pair of long swords. So oh, this is wow. definitely above average. Oh, uh, Warling isn't bothering to heal. Warling is going all in. Warling is like doing a DPS race. It seems like there's the spoon being chucked. That's interesting. I mean, I, although I still think you're probably good. trip the. Eight, I'm still thinking to trip the refill at some point. So it's yeah it's sooner rather than later. Absolutely, and 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 when the refill gets gets tripped up, uh, he he's gonna like skip a phase, and th that's gonna make it so he 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 doesn't. No, no uh, we're at the end. We're, we're at good. The we're end. good. We're good. Uh, but that nuke is going nowhere. But that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We, we can with with Cecil. There it is. GG's. Rolling in second place with a time of one hour and and, and thirty one minutes fifty something seconds. Yeah, GG's to Warlink. Uh, made things interesting. <laughs> Just doing doing something. Uh... I was I was super into it. Honestly, I I really liked it. Like 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 the whole I'm 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 gonna rush down Soromas with pure damage. I'm not even gonna bother healing. That's so cool to me, honestly. I mean, sometimes it's, I mean the DPS race. I mean, I think like it's like seven thousand when the collective group does. I think because something like that. Uh, that's most more than enough. 
because you want to because you want to get hit the refill and when hit the refill you avoid the avoid the big bang so that's a that helps a lot yep we'll see if if we'll be joined by by Warlink, but i i was going to say that you know i've 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 tried doing a reprisal of the of the wacky races club and I don't. I don't think I, I, I was able to to recapture the magic that 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 Scala and Company put up last, uh, around to 2020. I think I think it was, but that's okay. Honestly, this ain't my wheelhouse. I I wanna I wanna come back next season with 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 more Baron Hero's journey, more more C Hero nonsense, and the, there is also uh, there are whispers and rumors of a tournament in the in the future. There's no date announced. Uh, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. There is no date announced. It's 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 a little ways off, but there's a new evidence, but there's a flag set cooking. So if you wanna help test the flag set and give feedback on it, you know, you're welcome to jo to to join the Discord if, if you aren't there yet. They are like fairly challenging, but I believe in the community. Well, we've done so something like this before in the past. Uh, I, th I think it's gonna be a complete blast. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely here for the shenanigans on the Discord. Also, uh, check the wiki out and also the randomizer website while you're here. And uh, also, thanks to the, the uh, everyone on the restream team, uh, Darth Plagal uh, on tracking, uh, Arenlor on the on on the restream, uh, and just on making sure nothing 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 goes on fire because there are fires. We don't know. We don't know where they're coming from, but they're not cast <laughs> but Rydia isn't casting them. The fires keep increasing. <laughs> so uh, it's it's in warning when we're joining us. So again, uh, thanks everyone. There there will be no more uh Wacky Races forthcoming, but but that's all that's just fine. We we can focus on on doing some like tournament stuff that's that that's been cooking. And we we have Norway Target today. So thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. See you all next seed.